Thick. 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 I think you quit smiling and I'll leave behind. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. So today's video I am going to be reviewing Lush Cosmetics. I've got a whole bunch of products in front of me that I have used for the past month and a bit. I was technically meant to film this video like three weeks ago and the reason why I didn't was because that was when the lockdown happened and I don't know I kind of just felt like I just wasn't in the right mindset to review something and I kind of just wanted to seek out comfort within you guys which I know sounds really weird. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to create makeup challenges because it just really helped, took my mind off things and it also made me so happy as well editing all those makeup challenges videos, like especially doing the ones with Nathan, like it just brought so much light to my life and it made me forget about what was going on and yeah. Another thing that I want to say before I start the video is thank you to everyone who watched my previous video on Sunday. 100% of the AdSense will be going to the NHS. Now I know my channel is small and I don't get as many views compared to other big YouTubers out there but I am one of those people who believe that any donation is a good thing like I probably make about 200 pounds a month off of YouTube which is not a lot compared to other YouTubers. I know to a lot of other people, 200 pounds is a lot just through making YouTube videos. In comparison to huge YouTubers, like I don't wanna compare myself to other YouTubers, but if you was to compare me to other YouTubers, they would obviously donate such a large sum compared to me. But I don't care because at the end of the day, the NHS really needs a lot of help and support. So if you guys feel like you personally can't donate any money, it's okay, like don't worry, don't stress. Like we are all struggling. I just want to let you know that my video that I uploaded on Sunday, that video, 100% of the proceed is going to charity. So if you could just watch the ads in full and avoid skipping them, that would mean so much to me. And I know a lot of you guys who are watching those videos, let me know that only one or two ads came up. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to fix this type of issue. Like I, I literally do YouTube out of love. Like I don't do YouTube because of the AdSense or anything. Like I don't really know much about that, but I am going to to try my best to fix the problem, but I don't know how to fix the problem. The only answer I have is why I'm not getting as many ads on my video is because my channel's not that big. <laughs> That's like the only answer that I have right now. So I do really appreciate everyone participating, like our little community, our little family, our little dumpling family. Oh my God, like I love it so much. And I definitely wouldn't be pursuing YouTube if it wasn't for my little dumpling family. Honestly, guys, you are literally my rock. Like, like, I don't know what my life would be like without you guys. Also, this makeup look, I filmed an Instagram and TikTok video for you guys. This is inspired by Alexa Demi. I think that's how you say her name. She is that hot girl Maddie from Euphoria, the bad ho bitch. Oh yeah, she's okay. She struts being a hoe and I love it so much. I literally like her face, like everything about her, I could literally go gay for her. Like she is so stunning done it it's unreal so yeah if you guys are interested in knowing how to achieve this very feline sexy eye look it will be on my instagram right now so yeah thank you for listening to another long intro let's go into the review video i first of all just want to say big shout out to lush because honestly every time i go into oxford street and i go into the lush store i don't know what it is about that shop it's just so aesthetically pleasing and it's just so welcoming and i just love how working the shop is and shout out to the Lush shop assistants you guys are so 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 sweet and yeah I just get nothing but really good customer service every time I go into Lush that being said this video is not sponsored by the way okay trust me it's not okay I spent all my money on this and I spent about 200 pounds I think <laughs> so the first part that I really want to talk to you guys about is this cleanser so I kind of want to do skincare first and go into body afterwards so skincare you guys know how much I love skincare so I wanted to get myself a cleanser but I wanted to get a bar cleanser and oh my god I have ruined my cleanser wow what on earth to be honest I actually haven't used this for a few weeks and there is a reason why I haven't used this for a few weeks this made me break out and I'm not entirely sure why I use it for about three to four days straight and then by the end I was just getting really bumpy and I didn't like it and I stopped using it and then the bumps went away so uh, I don't know what this is I, I have no idea why it looks like that I think it's because I left it in the shower with the tin on and then just the hot water splashing on it and it kind of made it go a little bit you know woohoo 
This is actually meant to be the sleepy face and as you can see on the screen it's very different to how it looks in the tin. So you actually buy the tin separately. I believe the tin's about five pounds and you can reuse this tin for whatever you want to use it for. Because it's a bar it will literally not affect the environment which is a great thing. Benefits of the sleepy face is that it's got lavender oil and that's what really struck me. That's why I bought the product because I absolutely love lavender. Lavender is so good for the skin but for some reason this time around it just didn't work out for me. I think it's because it's got cocoa butter and shea butter. Maybe that's what made me break out because it's quite heavy ingredients. Yeah this is actually made for people who lack hydration. Now I do lack a lot of hydration but it just sucks that it didn't work out for me but if you lack hydration maybe check this out. So the smallest size you can get is for five pounds. I don't know how much the bigger size costs but um that's what I have to say about it. So yeah, moving on. <laughs> okay, so the next product that I am so in love with and I have been using this product for so many years actually and that is the Coppo Coffee. I love, love. Love is not even enough to describe how much I enjoy using this product. I freaking love it more than love okay the reason why is because it's just so handy and the fact that this is like made for the face and for the body listen it just feels like such a spa experience whenever i put this for my face all the way down to my toes trust me i put it everywhere and i should have got the massive big mama pot because this literally goes within a few weeks i'm like trying my best not to use it too much but i'm like literally almost gone oh my god it smells amazing anybody out there who loves coffee you will love this so much now the only negative thing i would would say is that I wouldn't recommend using it too much for your face because the coffee beans is quite hard so you could actually burst a capillary in your skin which is so dangerous and you don't want that to happen and it's actually a very long procedure to get rid of a burst capillary oh my god that was such a hard sentence to say so I would recommend going in super gentle if you are going to use this and rub it into your skin but I love using this underneath my armpits because it makes me feel so clean and yeah I am in love with this product. Oh let's talk about eye cream okay so this is the enchanted eye cream this is more of a very everyday daytime eye cream I personally didn't see any results when using this eye cream but that doesn't mean I'm not going to stop using it because I do feel a hydration whenever I use this product so this product has lavender honey and it's also so got vitamin E in there it's got glycerin in there as well which is amazing because that's going to help give the under eye a little bit of a glow and a lot of hydration it's got your hobo oil in there as well and da -da 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 almond oil in there as well so it's got a lot of amazing ingredients in there it is very hydrating but I just personally didn't see the difference with my bags but bags is one of those things where it's like it's really hard to get rid of so I guess I'm being a bit too harsh on this product but I do like it I do enjoy it and I will use this until I am finished with it. It's also super lightweight as well. So I'm just gonna show you guys. That was a lot. Oh my God, I didn't mean to squirt that much. But it spreads so much and it just really helps smooth out my skin. And also my skin drinks up instantly as well. And I love it when I put on a face cream or an eye cream or anything creamy and my skin just drinks it up. I'm like, oh yeah, skin drink it up. And there's a little bit of a tacky feeling as well. Spot treatment gel. Okay, so this is the Grease Light spot treatment this is surprisingly really really good Nathan had a spot and I was like can I use this on you so I can see you know how well it worked I put it on him and then the next one day it was literally a white head which means that it was like on the urge like almost ready to go but you just need to like be a little bit patient for like an extra day or two and just put this on and literally within three days that spot was gone I also use this on my pimples as well now my pimples they take a little bit longer than a few days to go so everyone's experience when it comes to spot treatment gels is all different. So Nathan's experience was that his spot went away within three days. Mine went away within five days. Everyone's different. So this products have aloe vera. It's also got something called wobble wobble, which I have no idea what that is. It's got witch hazel in there, which is amazing. Again, lavender oil, my favorite ingredient. It's got literally all the ingredients that you need in order to help get rid of a spot. Apart from wobble wobble, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go ahead and teach myself what that is. And the way it looks, it comes out in a clear gel. When Nathan had a spot, I didn't put too much on 
him, but it was just so easy to like squirt a lot out. So just to let you guys know, you don't need a lot at all. And as you can see, it just like goes everywhere so easily. I love it. So I don't want you guys to be mad at me when I say this and I don't know how I missed out on buying these products. I don't know. I don't know what went over me. So I full I bought face cream and serum clearly your girl didn't so I'm really sorry that I didn't buy face cream or a serum but next time round because I do want to try out more lush cosmetic products because they have so many products literally I felt a little bit overwhelmed in the shop actually but I definitely want to go into lush again after lockdown hopefully this pandemic can be over because I really miss shopping in the very future I will be doing another one of these types of videos but this time I will be testing out a serum and a face cream. I did pick up toner water though. Now this toner water, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it definitely feels more watery rather than an actual mist. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. So this product is meant to soothe, soften and rebalance. I definitely feel like it soothes. I don't feel like it softens and rebalances on me. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't work on me, but it has got lavender water in there and rose water in there, which is like two of the best waters that you could have for your skin. It is really nice and soothing though, whenever I put this on, but I just personally just don't see a difference within my skin. It's more one of those products where it's an experience that it gives you rather than seeing improvements within your skin, if that makes any sense. Like has anyone out there got like a bunch of skincare products because it makes you feel good, but then you have like another set of skincare products that can actually make a difference within your skin. Anyone else like that? I mean, if you're a skincare junkie, Hey, we're the same. It's really hard to say would I recommend this because it's just very like personal opinions. Like I personally wouldn't buy it again. I would try out their other toner waters, but I am gonna like try my best to use this as much as I can because I did buy this. Last but not least for skincare, I got this product that came in this little packaging and this is basically a little tablet that you put in your face steamer. This is so interesting and literally I was just like, I need to try this because I've never like experienced or had anything like this before. I usually use like um, eucalyptus oil or lavender oil and I just put like a few drops in my face steamer. But this, I was like, I need to try you ASAP. This is called the Dream Steam. This is meant to calm the skin and reduce redness. Anybody can use this product as well. So if you have oily, dry, sensitive, acne prone skin, this can be used for you as well. So it's got chamomile, it's got lavender, it's got rose, it's got tea tree oil. And you know what? This is a really nice, cool product. I really like it. I definitely wish it was just like a little bit cheaper. I find that it's quite expensive. Like, okay, don't laugh at me when I say this, okay? It is two pounds for one tablet. But the thing is, I wish it came in like maybe a packaging of like 10 and they sold it for like I don't know 18 16 pounds I don't know maybe they feel like it's best to sell separately or individually I was having an Asian moment where I was thinking about okay how can I save money <laughs> but I do like these and I'm being very 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 stingy with them the only time I will use them is literally when I am like in desperate need to treat myself so like if I am stressed the f out I will use these products and it smells so good and I find that after this has like really dissolved in the water when I do go ahead and steam my face again without these tablets there's still that smell which is so good as well I got the unicorn lip scrub this is so 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 delicious honestly like every time I use this I just can't help but just lick my lips I don't know if you're meant to do that but oh my god even just smelling it it just makes me want to go wow <laughs> the reason why I love this product is because it's a dry lip scrub now a lot of brands they like to make their lip scrubs really like gooey and and oily and it's like no 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 I don't I don't personally like that I like a dry lip scrub and the reason why is because it's easy for me to wipe off in my own experience when I tried lip scrubs that's got like oil in it and I do wipe it off my lips even though they feel nice and oily I don't know if the experience of wiping it off is not nice I really enjoy using this I like to use this after I brush my teeth and wash my face just go ahead and put a little bit on my lips scrub off scrub and then I get my face halo and just wipe it and my lips are so soft I'm literally gonna use this tonight before bed as well so I leave this in my bathroom actually to remind myself to use this I also got a lip balm as well and the shop assistant at Lush said that this is the best one in terms of smell and it smells so good but the thing is I like a thick thick 
thick. Bigger than the lip gloss that I've got on right now. Like I like a Dr. Lip slash Lano Lips slash Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I like those type of lip balms because I feel like my lips, they get so dry so easily. And also my lips, it just sucks in all the moisture. So this is a really nice lip balm if your lips aren't actually that dry. <laughs> oh my God, honestly, I wish you guys could smell it. It's just so delicious. Moving away from skincare because that is literally all the products that I have for skincare. I really wanted to pick up some body care products and talk to you guys about some things that I don't really talk about on my channel and one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is shaving. So I didn't know that Lush did shaving soap and I got this. This is called Defluff and I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god this is so good. It's got this really weird smell. I'm not a fan of it personally but it does make my skin feel so nice and soft every time I use this and I've used it everywhere that you can think of. <laughs> have trouble with my armpits where they get really dry and a little bit sticky as well. Oh my god, that is so TMI. I'm really sorry that you had to hear that. But when it comes to beauty and beauty problems, it's just one of those things where you gotta just talk about and just have no filter because I'm pretty sure some of you guys probably experience the same problems that I do. Like I have a lot of problems with my armpits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you all. Quite a thing thick weird consistency I can't really describe it it's like um like slippery but solid at the same time and in the past I've used a lot of shaving creams but it always made my skin feel a bit weird so after experiencing this I was like oh my god it's actually a shaving cream that actually helps soften soothes smooths my skin make my skin look nice and fresh and clean and yeah I'm really obsessed with this product and I'm definitely gonna get this again speaking of armpits i even picked up a deodorant and this is how it looks it literally comes in a cute little bottle and i am so obsessed but unfortunately my armpits do not agree with this product and the reason why because your girl is a really smelly bitch <laughs> As always, I'm gonna be real with you all. Like my armpits, listen, I need to use like industrial like deodorants just to help my armpits stop from like sweating and sticking so much. Yeah, I have been searching high and low for a natural deodorant and it's really hard because a lot of natural deodorants, they do work. You have to like continuously put it on. Well, for me anyway. This is really good. I really, really like it. I find that it doesn't dry out my skin even though it's a powder and also it really does help soothe my irritation underneath my armpits as well. You can also put this on your feet as well if you have sweaty feet. When it comes to putting this on, it's a little bit awkward. So like literally I have to like take off my t-shirt, leave my bra on obviously, and like I have to go over the sink to put it on. So I have to like put some on my hand and then go over the sink and just kind of, you know, do it old school style. <laughs> I have tried my hardest to only stick to natural deodorants, but it's just really difficult. And you know, I am a human being and sometimes I can't help but use the chemical deodorant, okay? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna like, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are the same as well. We're all humans, we're not perfect. Sometimes we can't help but use the product that's actually bad for you, that's full of chemicals, okay? Because sometimes it does do the trick. But I am going to continue to use this. Uh, when I did travel, this was coming with me and this is also in my bathroom as well. So I am trying my best guys to be a natural deodorant girl. Time to talk about hair. Okay, so first of all, why did not anyone tell me how good Lush hair products are? Honestly, I am shook. Like, I couldn't believe how nice my hair was after using Lush products. Now, I'm a big fan of hair. Like, I love so many hair care brands, but it really took me by surprise when I tried Lush hair products. So this one I got over here is a bar. It's a little bit crazy. You do have to buy the tin separately though. Just wanna let you all know. The shampoo that I got is Honey, I Washed My Hair. And oh my God, this literally, I thought there was gonna be no bubbles, no froth. Like, I love a frothy, foamy shampoo. And I was so shook at how frothy this was in my scalp. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, proper like digging in, you know, making sure all the germs and all the, you know, dandruff was out of my hair. And I was just so surprised at how well this shampoo works for me. And it smells so amazing as well. Oh my God. I really wish you guys could smell it. It's just got that really nice lush smell. It's got that really sweet honey type of smell. And yeah, it's really good. And shout out to the lush shop assistant again in the hair section. He had amazing 
amazing hair and I was like you need to assist me and let me know what you're using so yeah I really am enjoying using this product I do use a lot of other hair care products like Mark Hill like I love Mark Hill and I also use other hair care brands as well but yeah I just wanted to throw it out there just in case you're looking for a shampoo that's in a bar form rather than in a bottle form because this is really handy especially if you go to the gym and you don't want to use like the gym shampoo you want to use like your personal one it's really nice now the one thing that the shop assistant did recommend is that every time you finish using this make sure you just wipe it down with like a piece of tissue or something that way it's dry enough to put away in the tin so when you do take it out it doesn't go all like weird and you know like this basically i tried to take care of it but your girl got lazy Let's just say that. Oh, it smells so good. This is a conditioner. This is Candy Rain and this is so nice. I mean, pretty much not all gone. I mean, I'm like nearly halfway and I'm taking a break from using it because I don't want to like use it too quickly. This is made for people with thick hair. So if you're looking for a lightweight conditioner that doesn't, you know, make your hair feel too greasy, then this is a really good one. And also again, this smells amazing. Oh my God. It just smells like white chocolate and milk chocolate making out. Out. like that's how it smells to me it just smells so good i also don't use a lot either this is actually quite a powerful conditioner in terms of actually making your hair feel really nice and soft so yeah love lush hair care products definitely i'm gonna buy some more in the future so one thing you want to know about me guys i love bath bombs one of the bath bombs that i got from lush when i went out shopping is this juicy peach look at this peach guys oh oh my god look at that fat ass yes so cute oh my god and it smells amazing as well i'm a massive fan of lush bath bombs like that's what made lush so popular it's because of their bath bombs so i got a peach one i've actually never used this before i'm waiting for a very 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 special day to use this product now there is a go-to bath bomb that i love to use and that is this this is the comforter i believe i'm not entirely sure hold on let me just go on the internet real quick okay usually i get the comforter and i thought this was the comforter but it's not wow i'm embarrassed myself okay <laughs> so this is actually called the bright side now i have tried this before in the past it's just so bright and orange oh my god now what i do recommend in when it comes to getting a lush bath bomb is do not use all of it in one go no 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 no. you don't want to do that because this is expensive okay this is like five seven pounds or something like that take your time using it and also a little goes a long way i would recommend getting a clean knife just cut it into like four and that will last you at least four baths so yeah it smells so delicious this is like orange and citrusy but my go-to is the comforter like that is the one bath bomb that i have used continuously over like the past few years and what i love about that product is that it just stays bubbly like i love a bubble bath and because it's pink it kind of makes me feel a little bit bad and bougie so yeah that is like my go-to bath bomb just in case you guys are looking for a bath bomb and you're looking for something that stays frothy and bubbly in the bath and pink and cute that is for you miss oh my god we are at the end of the video i hope you guys liked this type of video i'm really sorry that i wasn't really demoing the products i really should really do that i don't know why i didn't do it oh my god i'm such a bad youtuber wow <laughs> anywho if you did like this video it would mean so much to me if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well i do upload every week twice a week i upload every wednesday and sunday at 6 p.m gmt time I try to anyway. <laughs> I also upload regularly on TikTok and Instagram, so it means so much to me if you guys followed me on there. I would love to know what your favorite Lush products are, especially bath bombs. Like if you are like a bath bomb hoe just like me, I would love to know because I'm always searching the best bath bomb and I'm pretty sure I tried maybe 5% of the bath bombs that Lush has made. Like they have a lot of bath bombs. But I would love to know what your personal favorite ones are because I'm dying to do like another massive Lush order. So yeah, let let me know down below in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one and enjoy the bloopers. Mwah. Bye. Oh, itchy nose. This is so gross. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Calliope is <laughs> actually a very long. <laughs> oh my god. Anywho, if you did. <laughs>